In this video, you can learn how to quickly reinforce the elements using the extrude bars along path command. Section for one of the wall elements has already been prepared. For this way of reinforcing element, only one section is needed, horizontal section in this example. Have in mind that the section is in the separate drawing file and reinforcement will be placed in new drawing file number 1004 so you can set it to current. The process is to draw the reinforcement only in the horizontal section without actually placing it in another section. After placing the bars in the horizontal section, with escape key you will exit all the following commands. So let's start. Go to bar shape command and choose the open stirrup type. Leave the rest of the parameters as they are. Approach the cross section and if you have the option expand to adapt to edges active, then the stirrups will fit properly in the wall formwork. Sometimes it will be easier for you to input the edge points of the stirrup. To do that, deactivate the expand option and input four edge points of the stirrup. Know that you can also draw the stirrup with two diagonal points, like all rectangular elements. Press the escape key when you are done with inputting points. And last step is to click on the side of the stirrup where the lateral opening will be. You can correct the segment lengths in properties palette and change them to 45 cm. Now press the escape key several times until you exit the command completely. And the Alplan default message in the command line is shown. Again, go to bar shape command and choose the straight bar type. In the input option window, you have the option to input the straight bar as point. Only straight bar has this option. Here you can choose the exact fitting of point. Bar in fillet, place bar at start of fillet or custom placement. Place the first bar as point in fillet and press the escape key several times to exit all the following steps. Now copy and mirror this bar to another side of the stirrup. Also, you can copy or mirror these two bars to the lower layer of slab element. If you want to copy multiple elements, there are several ways to do that. One of them is to input in the command line the number of copies in our case 10, and spacing in y direction minus 20 cm. A minus prefix is required as copies need to be placed in the negative y direction. Now you can select the open stirrup and a few straight bars and mirror them to another side of the wall. For this you can use the midpoint. So we can easily mirror the elements at the exact place. Add a few more copies of straight bars shown as points. After you have everything set in the section, go to Extrude bars along path command. Select all the reinforcement in the cross section to extrude. Now click on the element edge of the path representation. The path can be any edge of this element or some additional 3D line but make sure you select the path in 3D window. You can set all the additional options for this command in the palette. Profile rotation, concrete cover, reinforcement factors, etc. Here you also have the parameters for transversal reinforcement. For spacing input 25 cm. Activate the region 1 with length 1 set to 60 cm and spacing of 15 cm. This way you can define different spacings and lengths for each transversal reinforcement region. Below are the parameters for longitudinal reinforcement. You can activate the projection at start with 30 cm, at end with 40 cm. This can represent the overlaps needed for another story. Lastly, here you can edit each of the longitudinal bars separately. All reinforcement can be clearly seen in the 3D model. You can of course place the associated bar legend to check the quantities.
You can create a new cross section for placing labels and displaying the bars in another view. Remember to switch to the cross section drawing file. Now you can label all reinforcement in the wall element accordingly. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video tutorial.